So this is my job for the rest of today and probably tomorrow, I would say, at least. So I've got some lovely boxes. Uh, I've got an area, I'll show you in a moment where that's going. Um, it's going to be one, around one of our more formal gardens. And then we've got some lovely pungas here that are going to go into a new fern garden we're going to create. And these come from our friend uh, Lloyd Manson. Well, his company is fantastic. So if you ever need any great pungas, go and see uh, Lloyd. But they are going to go into the gardens afternoon. So this is where the Bucks' hedging is going to go. It's around here. It's going to be a little bit more of a formal garden. I'm going to do it on the edge, so I am going to have to move these peonies here. There's two peonies in there. Um, a little bit late in the season, ideally after the first frost, but I think we'll be fine with those. And that will come around here. Sit quite nicely, I think, in here. Probably climbing rows. We've got the magnolia hedging, and then we've really got the wedding arch here. Hi, it's that time of year again where it's time to prune the roses. Um, I probably should have started a couple of weeks ago, but we've had heaps of rain, so I haven't been able to get out here. So um, we've got lots of roses at Willow Springs, and so lots of pruning to do. I'm not sure how many roses I've done so far, maybe about 20. And maybe we've got another about 40 to go, so I'll let you know how many roses we have at Willow Springs. I'm just moving some of the uh, peonies. A little bit late in the season to move them. Ideally, it would have been good to have done that after the first frost, uh, but we haven't had much of a chance to get out with the wet. But I've sort of kept mu as much of the, the, the bulb as I can. I'm going to put it in here. I've dug a, a hole much bigger than that, and I've got a mix of... Um, it, it's just wood chips that over three or two or three years has broken down and I'll put it with some zoom grow so I am pretty confident it's going to love it and it's going to grow and it's going to look beautiful. So this is the boxes I picked, picked up yesterday it's going to form the foundation of our boxes hedge garden. So Sammy what we're going to do here is we're going to get that dirt we're just going to create a little mound about that high like that, and then we're going to run it right round from about here, equal to the other side, and then we're going to put those boxes in. So Andrew, you just swing around, you can see the size of the boxes. And we're just going to get those in, we don't want the roots to dry out anymore, but we want to give them a really good start. So. We're just going to create a nice little border here, symmetrical. And Sam just puts that dirt in there. We can just move it around and then I'll plant the boxes into it. Chris has been busy today, obviously in the garden. It's actually a beautiful day and it's not raining. And doing the boxes hedges that he's just put in. The hedge is looking really good actually, so it's going to be quite a wee feature there that we wanted. Yeah, I'm just firming it up in the back just to make sure it's all nice and solid. I'll put some good soil around it. You know, just making sure it's firm in case we get a, a strong wind and sit there. As it grows together, we start to trim it. it looks like it's been here forever. So if we just carry on around here and we need to get obviously some more, which we will be looking on Marketplace for because Marketplace is our favourite shopping spot at the moment. So, and we can Always get some good bargains for the garden. The other thing I want to do is just put a lip around the garden. And we've got some topsoil here. It's um, quality topsoil. So it'll just finish it off. Give the, um, the boxes a wee bit of a lift as well. Uh, bit of height straight away. But it'll just tidy it all up. 